Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Saurabh Sharma and I have with me today Dr. Sarthak Bhatt, a proud damn student who has scored an excellent rank during his first attempt in internship from uh, MAMSI College, Delhi, ranked 579 in NEET PG 2025. Many congratulations, Sarthak. It's a great Thank you so achievement. Much, Thank you so much. It's your first attempt. And uh, this is your day and let the other students who are preparing for NEET exam or will be preparing let them know your story starting from the beginning take your time tell everything you want to tell them and then i'll ask you some questions congratulations again. sure sir thank you so much sir uh so sir um i had actually joined the uh, dams classroom right from my first year uh, in the beginning right. uh, and okay. uh, i completed my first year from dams because at that time it was uh, uh, really a difficult uh, time for you know sir uh, for all medicals, I believe that first year is like you're being thrown into an ocean suddenly and uh, you don't know which way to go. So I uh, think that's uh, provided a beautiful framework for me to uh, start building up my concepts on. And uh, actually, that's what uh, encouraged me to start reading more from the textbooks and everything. So um, I started uh, with uh, dance from first year itself. Uh, eventually, I couldn't, uh, you know, sir, as second year and all came, I couldn't keep up. Uh, as also, the lockdown came in, so I couldn't keep up with the coaching and everything along with managing my college and everything. So, I uh, left and I uh, opted for the online modes only, sir. Then right. I studied everything online and I prepared okay. all my notes, sir, during uh, uh, my MBBS itself. So, uh, by the time I uh, reached my internship, I, I had completed all my 19 subjects notes and I had everything prepared with me. Uh, hmm. But sir, internships, sir, as you might know only, sir, in Mansi, it's very hectic. And as you said, my uh, role number is such that uh, eventually towards the end of the, uh, the, the end of the year, uh, I had uh, all of these tough postings like Oxgani, medicine and surgery. And medicine at the end, sir, where we had almost uh, daily duties of 13 to 14 hours. So, sir, yeah. couldn't study at all in the end. So, I was a little disappointed only that this time I don't think hope will happen. But I, uh, my parents also supported me and told me that okay, lage raho, max, jitna ho paata hai, karo, apne So um, I came back after <clears throat> finishing my internship. I remember I came back on uh, 3rd of May, sir. And uh, mm -hmm. that's when I seriously started preparing with respect to the exam. Like, let's, let's try and give INICT and let's see how it goes. Uh, so uh, I uh, eventually then um, tried to make up my own concise notes as well in the end. And... Uh, Kept revising, couldn't finish all the subjects for INI, sir. Hardly for 13 14 days were left. And yeah. uh, in INI, I uh, got a rank of 634 that kind of boosted my confidence a little bit. He, okay, like we can do better. So yeah. I uh, kept reading, sir, and eventually then uh, secured this rank, sir. That's a great achievement. Uh, so, first year, uh, usually I've uh, seen many students of Delhi starting from second year. You are one of them. We started on the first year. So why why was this uh, thing? Just let me know about, uh, let others know why you thought like that. Yes, sir. Uh, so uh, as soon as we entered college, sir, um, it, become, uh, it becomes a little difficult, I believe, for every student to uh, sir, start with the studies. Like uh, We have a very different habit of uh, reading, sir, up till the 12th standard. Uh, the NEET UG entrance is a very different kind of an examination. And uh, mm -hmm. eventually, as we enter medical college, the portion becomes so vast, it becomes very difficult to actually gather all the information and to retain it properly for a longer yeah. period of time. So I also faced that difficulty, sir, initially. <clears throat> so I, I believe that I needed some kind of a framework that will enable me to read the textbooks on my own, because reading the textbooks on our own and on the first go is become, was becoming a little difficult for me. Difficult, so yeah. I hence joined them. And um, to, you know, sir, to have a good framework, to have a concept base in my mind, that would then help me expand further by reading the textbooks. All right. So at the end of your, uh, at the start of internship, you have covered, uh, you know that uh, what are the things to be uh, done for yes, PG sir. exam preparation. And then you started doing MCQs, I think, during internship. Yes, sir. Def your... Definitely, sir. Sir, uh, throughout also, I kept practicing as and when MCQs, when I could. So, no, I always said I found solving MCQs fun, so, so it was uh, never really like a burden for me. So I kept solving MCQs as and when I could. Didn't do much uh, throughout my uh, BBS CS, but uh, eventually in internship, I tried to solve as many MCQs as I could. And seriously, yeah. sir, I started preparing that. I would say that I, I've been giving my whole day to it after completing my internship. Also. 
but that's a very less time left after internship yes sir right? that's that's very true sir i had a good base that allowed yeah. me to eventually come to concise uh, more and more concise resources so that i could uh, eventually just yes. keep the important things in mind for me exactly. yeah that was important because you have started uh, early and you had a base of what could have been what is going to be asked and then it was easy Definitely. for you to revise them so what about Definitely. the grant test uh, when was the grant test first given and how much score was there in the grant test uh so sir uh, i i believe i gave my first grant test at the beginning of my internship before that and given one or two in my final year yeah. just to see how i, how I was doing oh, so yeah. uh, during final year sir i believe uh, my scores were around 140 to 150 correct in the gps mm. uh, yeah. then i gave my first one in internship uh, i got some 150 correct uh, at the beginning of the internship i gave yeah. Yeah. Uh, and sir, after that, um, in, in the initial days of internship, I had PSM posting, so it was a bit chill posting, you could say. So yeah. then after yeah. that, I didn't get time to give GTS, sir. And I uh, then started giving GTS towards the end of my internship, sir. My okay. score usually used to remain, sir, between one forty-five correct to one fifty-five correct, somewhere between that. Okay. And after that, uh, even also, sir, I remember even the even the last one that I gave before INSCT, sir. I had some. I think I had a rank of. Six to seven thousand, sir, in that GP. And okay. eventually, I started preparing seriously after third of uh, May, as I told you, sir. And in fourteen mm. days itself, I could bring my rank down to six thirty four in the actual exam. What was the score of the last GT you gave? Uh, sir, before I know you are saying. No, last GT. What last GT score? eventually, sir. Yeah, eventually I started improving, and before me, sir, uh, at the end of the um, this thing, I believe I was scoring about one sixty five to one seventy correct. Which is and how much approximately what? In your, I think similar score was there in. Uh, yes, sir. One sixty-seven oh, corrects. I got in it. Yeah, similar. One sixty-seven. So CBT, CBT, did you get a chance to get it? Ah, sir, I gave a uh, damn sneak peek. I didn't get the CBT. The mock was similar. Tha. Mock was more. Yes, sir. Tha. Mock me also. I scored one sixty-five corrects. So it was so all sure. replicating the same in the main exam. Yes, sir. Definitely. Well. Definitely. Pura yes, attempt. Yes, yeah, two hundred questions attempted, or you left something? I left two questions, sir. And what was I the left. level of the uh, exam this time, as compared to previous exams? Ah, uh, sir, I believe that um, even though the paper seemed easy on the surface, it had some tricky questions that and some tricky, confusing options that uh, would um, that might, sir, confuse many of the uh, students, sir. But otherwise, mm-hmm. I believe it was more or less at par, on a slightly easier side as compared to the previous. All right, all right. So, both is both is right. I mean, uh, what are you planning to take, uh, Satak? Sir, I've always uh, I'd always fix my best to be self medicine only. So uh, I always feel that you will get person. You are from Nasik, Maharashtra. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Planning to settle in Delhi now. Uh, sir, let's see, sir. After PG, what happens? <laughs> so PG will uh, get in Delhi only, right? You are. Uh, I'm, sir, yeah. hoping to get in Delhi only. Hopefully, I get. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so let's see. So what? Could you say? So during uh, you attended classes face to face first year, and then you shifted to online because of uh, online. COVID. Yes, sir. And then you yes, sir, because TND. of COVID also. Yes, sir. TND be online kiya hoga. Yes, sir. TND also I had taken sir dams ka. I uh, gave it online. Yes, sir. Uh, internship me uh, internship ke year me I took TND. I ah. I couldn't study according. I I thought it was a very great framework sir to prepare according to that, but. Uh, ah. Unfortunately, due to the hectic postings, I couldn't uh, adequately prepare for each of the tests. But I tried uh, my best too, and I kept giving the test so that I remained in the loop. I think so that provides a very beautiful framework. Yes. What What could be your uh, suggestion for the students who, who are now preparing to start, who are starting to start, maybe who are in second year or first year? What will you tell them? When should they start? And how important are attending the live classes or recording classes? I mean, what What is your thought on that? Sir, as soon as possible, sir, one should start preparing. I mean, uh, even I, I have always felt that sir, reading the textbooks is very important. But along yeah. with that, uh, we should we should definitely have a, a base to build upon, uh, so that uh, we can even the textbook reading becomes easier. So uh, join the coaching early, start preparing your notes early, so that you have your entire notes by the time you are beginning with your internship. So you have your concise notes, you have something that you can revise. And uh, finish yeah. up in a very short period of time. So it's very essential to start as early as possible. And seeing that the competition level is rising year by year, it is very yeah. much essential sir, to start as early as possible, <laughs> so that you keep everything ready. And then eventually you have your uh, whole armory ready. And whenever we have to fight, then we uh, have everything in your hand. Right. Well, that's that's a great great uh, suggestion. Now, tell me that during the entire course of your MBBS, 
कोई फैकल्टी डैम्स का जो आपको याद रहेगा जो आप अब रिमेम्बर करना चाहते हो और वो आपको देखेंगे इंटरव्यू और सोचेंगे अरे वाह यार सार्थक एज रिमेम्बर्ड मी ड्यूरिंग फ्रॉम द क्लास और सम इंसिडेंस विच यू रिमेम्बर्ड और विच यू हेल्प ड्यूरिंग योर मे बी यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम एंड फाइनल नीट पी एग्जाम Sir, definitely. Um, um, I remember Sandeep Madan sir's uh, face-to-face class first year. Sir, I still remember. Oh, okay. I used to get in at me, sir. And um, in the first year itself, it was very difficult for me to read everything, sir. So he had Great. very beautifully. I still remember his classes, sir. Uh, he uh, used to, sir. From that time itself, he used to teach in a very integrated fashion, and he tried to connect everything clinically, and that gave me a very good insight into. Why and how should we read and at me so that we'll, uh, we can retain it for a, a much longer period of time. Even sir, Sumay Sethi sir, the lectures is I, I believe a gold standard that everybody watches, and uh, uh, so it, it, uh, I I believe many of uh, sir's uh, whatever sir has taught in the uh, classrooms has been directly replicated sir into the I mean PG examination. So these are some uh, moments that I will never forget. Sir. That's that's good. So uh, you are the first one in the family, a doctor or some other as well? Uh, my uh, my father is a dentist and my mother is a BAMS MD, Ayurvedic uh, physician. That's good. So some are there in the family as doctors. <laughs> yes, sir. And you're pl- uh, planning to take MD medicine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Many, many congratulations. Abhi, last, uh, last, uh, because you actually planned after third of May after internship or two months you did uh, so many things. Just tell the students in the last one or two months what should they focus on. Okay, sir. Um... eventually while uh, while studying throughout mbbs try to expand your knowledge as much as try to explore as much as you can and during these last uh, one or two months you need to concise down as much as possible focus only on what is most important focus on the previous year topics and essentially read only that which is going to be asked in the examination us time pe bahut zyada if we try to do then everything becomes a hodgepodge and we won't be able to remember all of the 19 subjects because it's a vast portion sir so i believe that towards the end we should try to concise things down as much as possible and also sir um, always uh, i i believe it's a very good strategy to um, make your own uh, small handwritten notes of every subject i eventually sir while i was reading uh, in these last two months i tried to i, I did approximately two to three revisions of uh, the all of the 19 subjects so yeah. i from the uh, time i started my third revision i started writing everything that i don't remember in a particular subject on to one pa- on to one or two pa- pages of paper so i eventually have concise down each and every subject on to five or six pages sir and those are the pages that i read during my last week and i believe that uh, really helped me to gain good confidence and go with good stead in my examination so i uh, was confident that jo mujhe aata hai wo aata hai aur jo nahi aata wo recently padha hoga Absolutely. that becomes very important करेक्ट सो टू थिंग्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जो लास्ट में मैंने क्यों पूछा तुमसे क्वेश्चन ये जो दो महीने का आपने जो रिवाइज किया मल्टीपल टाइम्स यू वर एबल टू डू इट बिकॉज़ यू हैड अ बेस यू हैड अ बेस इन एमबीबीएस व्हिच इज दैट इज वेरी एसेंशियल दैट यू हैव अ बेस एवरीबॉडी आस्क सर इज डीबीटी इनफ आर दीस कंसाइज नोट्स इनफ सर इट इज इनफ प्रोवाइडेड दैट वी हैव अ गुड बेस एंड हैव रेड वेल ड्यूरिंग आवर प्रीवियस दिस थिंग्स इट इज इनफ ओनली व्हेन यू हैव अ गुड आईडिया ऑफ व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन अदरवाइज इट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मेमोराइज इट एंड द सेकंड इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड यू सेड एज द रॉन्ग थिंग्स व्हिच यू keep on seeing the wrong questions again and again that will yes, help sir. in increasing your scores that is very very important Definitely. because wohi to mistake hai that is make a difference of your rank and maybe some other who is very well who is not concentrating on his wrongs that is one very yes, important uh, suggestion from your side sir all of the uh, difficult tables and scores and everything i, I had clicked the photo of yeah. each and every that uh, each and every of my uh, of, of such tables and all that while i was reading so eventually in the last week i could focus essentially on the things that i don't remember and Absolutely. that is what helped me to keep everything in mind thanks thanks a lot for this great suggestion sarthak and congratulations again and uh, you, of sir. course you will get md medicine and best wishes for the future endeavors as well congratulations from our side thank you sir best wishes thank you sir. Thank you sir. All right. Thank you so much.